Okay, hello guys, and the next mm, last uh, video we show establishing an action between database and J Java program. So, this video we're gonna run this project and see whether we can store data in the database or not. So, let's run this. Okay, we have this. Let's uh, assume the name is save. save. Gmail, you can provide that. Provide a password. And click register, and it shows a message dialog. And that is, you have created a new account successfully. So, to see whether the data is inside the database or not, let's go to SQL Server, and you can either uh, write this command to see the data is and click execute and you can see we inserted dev dev and gmail and data is stored into the database and another way to see whether data we have uh, installed and another the data uh, anything there is probably gonna search That shows the data is successfully inserted in the database. Let's use this command again. Execute this query, and you'll see the data is inserted in the database. And that's how you can connect your SQL database with Java using NetBeans and SQL Server. And SQL Server is very useful tools because you don't need any. Uh, Internet connection for connecting that database uh, with your Java program, and that's sometimes very useful. Sometimes you may be somewhere where you don't have the access to internet, but you have to do the work, and that's very so important. Like example, where I'm MySQL. So, so in this video, I just show you how you can simply connect your database with a. Uh, Java program here we just use uh, some simple code and a query where we insert the data into the table and that's how we uh, that's how I did this and I hope it will be helpful for all of you who want to connect your uh, database with JDBC Java and I will provide this uh, project. Uh, I'll provide a link of the project in the description and a link of uh, the jar file of SQL JDBC connector. I'll provide that in the description. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.